welcome to DOS Geek. As you guys know, I recently completed the Zubuntu 18.04 video. I'm in love. Well, I've always been in love with XFCE. And I wanted to do some tips and tricks based on some comments that I have received and emails related to Zubuntu. Some minor issues people are having and how to work around those if you come across them. When I say issues, it's really just preference stuff. So I'm going to show you some ways that you can uh, create some unique customization within Zubuntu and also to allow you to have a little more control over certain things. And we're going to go deeper into the move to the next monitor shortcut in case you're new to setting up these type of things and need a more specific walkthrough. So the first thing we're going to start with is a Firefox issue. So some individuals have complained that every time they open Firefox, it opens in a corner of their screen. You can see mine's on the right hand side here and they want it to open in full screen. They don't want it to open here in a corner of their screen, whether on the left or right. So there is a quick way to fix this using the Firefox. There are actually probably many ways to fix this, but this is the quickest one. I think that uh, you can do its profile manager. Yes. So if you type that into your terminal, Firefox space dash profile manager, notice the P and the M are capitalized. You're going to receive this little pop-up box here, and this is going to show your default profile. Now you could create a new profile, but keep in mind, you're going to have to move all your settings and everything over there. Um, or you could use the current one that's default, which is what we're going to use. And we're going to start Firefox and you can see it starts in the corner here and we're going to make it maximized and then we're going to control f4 and now it will save that to our profile so now when i open firefox look what happens boom it's in full screen every time i open firefox now it will be in full screen so that's a quick way through your profiler if you're always using firefox in a specific configuration especially if you're doing windows tiling and auto launching and that type of stuff that would be a great way to easily fix that. Now keep in mind, if you close Firefox in a different position or a different size, then it's going to save it there as well. So that's how you can easily get into there and manipulate that. Let me get this off my screen. I was playing with something earlier. Look how beautiful, look how beautiful that desktop is. There's no icons on here, anything. But if I go over to the left, you might have noticed this beautiful dock here. And it's just very light because, you know, I changed the opacity on it. Of course, if you want it bright and brilliant, you can do that as well. And that's the next feature I'm going to talk about. If you right click on a panel, you can go into panel preferences here and we can add additional panels. This isn't docky, although you can use docky or any other docker. This is a custom panel. So if I go to panel one here, you'll see the little red dots that encircle this. That's what we're doing here. So the little red dots are encircling it. Let me know we're working on this one. And you can see I moved it from horizontal to vertical there. And we have the output automatic, span monitors and lock panel off, but I can lock it now and keep it there. But in case you want to add icons to it later, we can also have it always hide or we can have it intelligently hide. So when we move a window near, it disappears. We can change the row size, the number of rows. The so row size here is 52, number of rows one and length of 13. And if I wanted to add more icons, I could increase that length as I add them so that they show up there. Under appearance, you can see the opacity here that I have for the enter and leave. And then the items are the various launchers that I'm just dragging and dropping onto here from the menu. So if I wanted to say, put Hollow Knight over here, then I could just drag and drop it. And you could see it creates the little squares around where I'm about to put it. And I don't want that up there, but just showing you the example. So create your own dock. That's very doable in XFCE. So let's go back to the screen here. And what I want to show you now is the ability to move screens between monitors. Now I covered this in my first video, but I'm going to do a little more in depth here to make sure you guys uh, who may be new or haven't used this type of script before, you know how it works. So I'm going to do control in because that's what I binded it to. And you're not going to see it, but it's moving between my left and right monitor every time I click it. This is fantastic for gaming. If you're in a full screen game and it opens on the wrong monitor, you just click on the game or whatever application you want to move and control in and it's going to move it between your monitors. Much easier than messing with Steam settings and those type of things. 
So to do this, what you're going to do is open Firefox. You're going to go to my GitHub page. The easiest way I think to get there is just go to DOS Geek Community or go to GitHub and search for DOS Geek. And if you click on the Linux section here, we've got tons of software and things for you to look at, but you can just get to uh, this bash script is what's linked there automatically, but you can go here and you will see when you click on more. Let's open this full screen here. That we have moved to next monitor down here and let me move myself so you guys can see that. So we have moved to next monitor down here and you can just click on that. And this is just a program again that I forked and you can download this move to next monitor file here. This is everything that's into it. So you can clone download that. You can bring all these over. They're going to come in a zip. Just click download zip. All you're going to need is this one here though. Move to next monitor. So let's take a look at that in the file manager. So once you've downloaded that, that's going to be in your download section. You're going to grab that move to next monitor file only out of that zip after you uncompress it and move it somewhere. You could leave it there if you want, but move it somewhere where you're not going to accidentally delete it. So I have it in my home folder here under DOS Geek and you're going to right click it properties, go to permissions, allow this file to run as a program. Of course, in the terminal, you could see HMOD plus X as well. If you want to do it that way but this is the GUI version just allow this to run as a program then you're almost done here we're gonna to go to keyboard which is going to launch this screen here and once you are there you're gonna to go to application shortcuts and you can see that I already have it as control alt in but you won't have that so you're just gonna click add you're gonna target it to that file that you just made so you're just going to select the move to next monitor as you're searching through your files, click OK, and then set your key binding combination and you will be all set. Now you'll be able to move programs between various monitors, which is very cool. Another tip that I didn't think I covered in the 18.04 video is your ability to adjust your menu size. Now a lot of distributions that are customizable have a lot of cool options but this is one that i absolutely love that's so simple sometimes depending especially on my laptop or something i want a bigger menu or smaller menu and you could just click and drag the menu here to expand it out make it smaller etc and the last thing i want to talk about which is another piece of sean davis brilliant work is menu libre him and all of his brilliant developers that he works with here for xfce so menu libre is called menu editor within XFCE and here you can create your own menu. So if you look at this, it may look a little bit daunting at first, but trust me, it's not because it's an exact match of what's here, right? You've got accessories, development, web shortcuts, but you won't have web shortcuts because we created that. So to create your own menu, all you have to do is go up here and click add a launcher or add a directory add a separator so you can separate things as well. So I added a directory as web shortcuts. And then under that directory, I clicked plus again and did add launcher and created a launcher using XDG open. So XDG dash open and then the name of a website so that I could get to my own uh, page or any pages you wanted to have bookmarked, etc., really quickly or you could set it up to launch certain programs or anything you want, but wanted to show you the power of menu libre and that you can create your own menus and customize the icons and everything that go along with them so that uh, you have more options within your menu, make it more powerful. So if I go there and click on Dosgate community, it's going to open Firefox in full screen because that's how we saved it and go to the home page there. So those are the quick tips and tricks that I've learned for XFCE. Isn't it lovely? And thank you to Carl for this incredible artwork that he does. Also, we've just launched Patreon for the first time. So if you want to go out there and join that, there are things that I put out there like show notes. And recently I posted my notes from December of 2016 when I had just completed the 30 days of Linux and I was writing the notes before I did the final episode on that series. It's very interesting to look back. I would forgotten that at that time, the distro that I left Windows for permanently was Ubuntu Studio, which of course is XFCE. So there you have it. Thank you guys again for watching. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe.